Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be walking through a step-by-step -step guide on how to install advanced SSH into Home Assistant. We'll touch on the importance of SSH in Home Assistant and the benefits of using the encryption keys over passwords. SSH or Secure Shell is a powerful tool that allows you to securely access and control your Home Assistant remotely. With SSH, you can easily manage your Home Assistant from anywhere in the world without having to worry about security risks. One of the key advantages of using SSH is to use encryption keys instead of passwords. Encryption keys are much more secure than passwords and they are much harder to guess or to crack. This means that even if someone is intercepting your communications from your Home Assistant, they won't be able to get your encryption keys and be able to gain access into your Home Assistant. So let's dive on in and get our hands dirty. So why do we need SSH? Well, that's because we use SSH to remote into the terminal of your Home Assistant and to give you the command line entry to perform back-end activities for Home Assistant. The installation is not difficult. I'd probably say it's around about a two out of 10. So everybody can achieve this. So firstly, we'll need a computer for the purposes of creating the SSH encryption key. This can be a Windows or a Mac, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll use a Windows machine. But I'll put a link in the description below for how to do it on a Mac. So firstly, let's install Advanced SSH and Web Terminal. So at the time of recording, I'm running on Home Assistant 2023.8.4. So firstly, let's move across into Settings. Let's go into Add-ons. Then we're going to move down into the Add-on Store. And we're going to search SSH. Now, as you can see here, I have two. Terminal in SSH and Advanced SSH and Web Terminal. The top one is the official one. The bottom one comes from Hacks. We're going to be using advanced SSH. So therefore, you'll need to install hacks. If you go to the link in the pop out now, I've made a video on how to install hacks. Go to that video and follow the instructions and then come back here. Now you've installed hacks and you do the same process again. And when you search for SSH, you'll see advanced SSH and web terminal. Click on this one, click on install. I'd recommend you turn on watchdog, auto update and show in sidebar. As you can see, it shows here. Now we need to do some configuration. So move across into the configuration tab. You can see the top entries offer username, password, and authorized keys. Type in a username that you won't forget. Type in a password that is reasonably complicated. I'll put a link in the description below of how to set an appropriate password. Now we come to the authorization key. As you might have guessed, this is a mechanism for authenticating that you are going to use to authorize access into SSH. So to be able to generate the key, we'll need to move across into a computer. I'm using Windows machine running a Windows 11 Pro. If you have a Mac, then check in the link below. Firstly, let's start up a command prompt. You can start a command prompt by simply typing CMD in the search bar and pressing enter. Next, we're going to enter in the following command ssh dash keygen press enter it will ask you where you want the file to go and what file you're going to be calling it for this we're just going to press enter the generator will ask you if you wish to create a passphrase as this is already a very secure way of accessing the ssh connection it's up to you if you wish to even use one i suggest not so for the purpose of this we're just simply going to press enter at this point it'll ask again press enter and we've created it. Note the location of it. Next, we'll use File Explorer to navigate across to the location. In the .ssh folder, you will find two files. It's the lower one that's called .pub that we require. This is not a Microsoft Publisher document. Right click, open with Notepad. When we open with Notepad, you'll find the SSH key. We're gonna be copying all of this. Right click, and copy. We can now move across back into Home Assistant. Back in Home Assistant, we'll get rid of the two square brackets. We'll press enter. Put two spaces until you get to underneath the T of authorize. Do a dash, space, greater than sign, dash. 
press enter again. Now move across two spaces to underneath where the greater than sign is and paste in your key. Scroll down, press save. Now we can go back into info and press start. We'll see that the add-on has started by the green dot. We can also check inside of the logs and we can see that it says it started successfully. Next, we're going to jump back into info. We're going to open up the web UI. And lo and behold, we get our command line, which is exactly what we were looking for. Next, type the following command, ls space dash la. Leave this on screen at the moment, and we'll come back to this in a second. We're going to move back to the computer where we created the key. Next, we're going to see if we can connect via SSH to the instance we just created. So let's type SSH space, the username, Smart Home Australia, at the IP address, and press enter. Because this is the first time that it's going into it, it will say, are you sure you want to connect? Type yes, it's now connected. So now we're gonna try something different. We're gonna type exactly the same command as before ls space minus la. Now you can see the directory structure that is brought back via the remote access. If we put over the top of that, what we had before, we'll see that they match exactly. So we've been able to successfully connect via SSH to our home assistant. That's it. Installation of advanced SSH and web terminal installed in home assistant and tested using an encrypted key but also having the password in there as well. But we'll use the encrypted key as that is the most secure. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. Please like, and if you do, share and make a comment into it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then consider subscribing to the channel and pressing that bell and be notified when similar content comes out. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next one.